Hey guys, Bittersteel here, back with another video. And today we will be playing a game sent in by Mr. Hendrik Mons. He writes, Dear Mr. Bittersteel, Oh, that's quite formal. In the attached save game, I am playing as the Huangxi clique and I am trying to conquer all of China. I thought I had a good army and a good setup to defeat Japan, but Japan just keeps outgunning me. Can you save this game or is it unbeatable at this point? Some info, Japan rushed through China and its warlords very fast, but I managed to get some of the warlord and China provinces. I went infantry, two armies of 24 divisions of 14 fours and the rest are infantry just to hold the line. Well, let's see just how bad Bad things really are. Oh dear god, what is this? Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so <laughs> you're facing off one hell of a Japan and you've lost most of your China. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Let's uh let's hop right in. But first, if you like these videos, leave a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content. Furthermore, if you want to help me out and support the channel, check out the YouTube membership. It's down there, the join button next to the subscribe button. It will take you to the YouTube membership page. It has all the information you need, but enough for me. Let's get on to the video. This looks like a mess. Okay. On the upside, you have a lot of divisions. I can work with this. That's a lot of divisions to work with. Good, that's good. So I think your offensives here are, yeah, they're a bit optimistic. You're, you're not gonna get anything out of those. Let's get a country overview first. Focuses. It's been a while since I've played this, but you might wanna pick up some more stuff. This is the way to democracy, maybe not the best. You could try subjugate the warlords because it might actually make um, any of Japan's puppets, if they're not national China, flip over to your faction as your puppets, like dictatorial Xinjiang, might actually flip over to you. It's just a coin flip. You have a 50-50% chance of them just saying, screw Japan, we're with Huangxi now. That works for every one of the warlords. Other than that, improving the army could be helpful, but I think you've gotten rid of the debuffs for the army. Yeah, I think you have. You just have the inefficient bureaucracy and government corruption. I say just, that's still pretty bad. I don't know, I thought we could get some War of National Liberation and War of Anti-Imperialism for some massive, massive buffs to your infantry or to, to your army in general, but it only works if you're in a defensive war and I'm guessing you are attacking Japan instead of defending against Japan. Yeah, it's an offensive war. That's not good. That's very unfortunate. You're kind of locked out of some very, very nice things like 10% attack on core territory and 10% bonus against Japan, 10% defense bonus against Japan and Manchukuo. So very unfortunate. Well, this one's almost done, but I don't like it anyway, so I'm gonna cancel that and just gonna subjugate the warlords. See if we can get anything out of that. Uh, it might just end up with dictatorial Sinkyang flipping. If they do, that's great. So I can I can set up a border here. That just takes a lot of pressure off the line. We'll need fewer divisions up north. Anyway, what else? Research. You're doing mechanized equipment. Magnetic detonator. So, all right, let's take a look. I'm thinking you're going for submarines to try and naval invade Japan. I hate to break it to you, but it's 1946. You're a little late to the party. You're not getting anywhere with the Navy by now. Don't bother. Sorry, but just don't bother. It's too late. Instead, focus on air. Get yourself some power drops. You've got fighter threes, which is good. Could get naval bombers to destroy their navy or close air support to actually help you out on land, which is what I'm gonna do. Mechanized equipment and advanced rocket engines. We're not using rocket artillery. I don't think you are. No. So there's no point in researching this. So get rid of that and instead just... You've got pretty much everything researched, which is obvious since it's 1946. No tanks. Yeah, you're not going to get any tanks done anyway. Let's just get stuff like logistics companies maybe. Might help. Yeah, let's just get paratroopers. Jet fighters might be helpful. Mechanized equipment. I don't think you're going to be using these. Instead, uh, let's get a bit of an air doctrine. No, you're already doing air doctrine. That's good. Land doctrine's pretty much filled out. You get some fuel refining. Air logistics companies might be helpful. China tends to have pretty poor supply. Fighter veteran initiative. This is good. Agility on your fighters is good. And jet fighter ones might give you an edge on Japan. Anyway, production. You're not making anything because you don't have the steel for for it. Plus you are 100,000 guns short, almost a thousand AA short, 
Seven, almost 7,000 artillery short. Yeah. Fewer guns, that frees up steel for other things. Won't need this much artillery though once we switch over some divisions, so I'll leave that as is. Motorized, I'll, I'll just leave two on motorized. Just so we have some when we do add logistic companies. Or if we ever want to make motorized divisions, though I don't think we'll get that luxury. More on fighters is going to be good. We have the resources for fighters. A bit more on support equipment and AA guns. AA guns are going to be very important. Uh, just to pierce the shitty Japanese tanks and to maintain air power where we don't have aircraft. All right, construction. A couple of mills. Yeah, I'd rather actually just build some synthetic refineries in places that we still control and that we're not in danger of immediately losing because synthetics are actually gonna help us out while military factories very nice but we don't really have the resources for production anyway speaking of resources what are we doing uh we've got no convoys so we gotta avoid trading overseas we are only trading oh yeah don't don't trade overseas if you can avoid it um stick to land routes for now uh, just because well the imperial japanese navy is gonna give you a very bad time uh just try to get some overland trade with whoever wants to trade with you there should still be people around with resources and the willingness to give them to you maybe not many of them but there should be some if if you can't get the full amount from someone, just settle for a little less. I mean, you, you've got the factories to give away. It's fine at this point. It's fine. At least this way we can get some sort of production in. Ah, oh, steel is a problem though. I'll have to piece it together from uh, various sources and it's not going to be pretty. I just noticed you're building a converted battleship hull. Um, no. <laughs> No, let's stick to convoys. Yeah, we're not making any of those either. God, we need a trade. We need trade. Problem is overseas trade is just so risky, we're just throwing convoys away. Oh, well, as more resources free up and people are willing to give us stuff, we'll reevaluate trade. I have noticed that you're in the Allies, which is good. So once... Oh boy. Once Germany finally caves, which has taken a long time already. I'm expecting the allies to throw themselves at Japan. So our purpose will not be to really defeat Japan outright. We will have to survive until the allies can come to our rescue. That is something I can do. I'm, I don't think I can just push Japan off the mainland. I, I don't think that's something I can do. I can try, but I doubt it. So our goal will be survival. Our stability is good, our war support is good, our manpower is very good considering we've already lost a ton of China, so this is still pretty okay. Uh, oh, so this is why you were building a carrier. Yeah, no, don't bother. So we don't need decisions right away. Uh, political power, we have some. Ideally, I'd use it to switch over to total mobilization to really give our industry a boost. We can afford the cost in manpower. Still, we're only a limited conscription anyway. Maybe to hire some guys, but I don't think there's any good ones left. Maybe to switch out the army offense expert for the army defense expert, though I'm not sure how much that's gonna matter. Elusive Gentleman might be handy, popular figurehead might be okay, but our biggest concern is military potential, so I think political power is going to be better served by boosting the industry so we can get more guns to our troops, and maybe to get another general, because I am going to be cheesing last stand orders, and I don't think you have a lot of generals spare. No, no, you really don't, so I would need to hire new commanders every now and then just to allow you to get a last stand in. So that's done. Um, Non-aggression pact from the Soviet Union. Why, yes, thank you. Oh, while we're there, can you give us stuff? Are you willing to give us stuff? No. No, you are not. Are you willing to give us stuff? So I'm just gonna nose uh, around and see if anyone is willing to lend Lisa some stuff. Because I need guns. I need guns, I need guns, and I don't have enough. So there might be countries out there willing to give me stuff. It might update once the game runs for a day. And everybody thinks we have too much equipment in stock, which is... Um, Inaccurate. Anyway, front lines now. Front lines are gonna be a mess. Um, I'm gonna delete every front line you've drawn and every order you've issued. I need to set this up the way I want it to be. This is just a mess. No offense, but this is not gonna work. So halt all these orders, halt all these orders, nobody move, just relax and stay where you are. I'm gonna start with the basics. The coastal garrisons. I'm not gonna use the garrison order. 
I don't like it. Instead, I'm just going to guard my ports. Two or three divisions per port. And anybody left over can go and reinforce the front line. We will need to put a lot of troops against Hong Kong. Um, there's six divisions here. I've had a test game before where I uh, accidentally unpaused. And they immediately funneled over 100 divisions into Hong Kong. So you definitely, definitely want to guard that port. What else? All right, just make sure every port has a garrison. At least, or well, at least preferably three divisions per tile. Um, maybe what you could do is spread out so every tile around the garrison is also covered if you have the luxury of troops. Not sure we have that luxury right now. So I'm gonna start off with just those three divisions per tile. And spare units from this army are just gonna reinforce positions like Nanjing and gaps in the line that I'm noticing over here to the west. <laughs> it's a mess. We have a lot of work here. I think instead I'll look at the eastern positions first. Good. All right. So you guys assign to that army, that army, and that leaves you with one. Go there. So this is three full armies of mostly garbage what is your garbage comprised of trash and other trash i don't know why you've made the same template twice it's identical or isn't it ah one of them has um aa in it the other one does not all right you kind of want support AA, so I'm just going to chuck it in there, turn everyone into these Zhuan Tuan. Uh, though that is going to cost us a lot of equipment, so be it. And I am going to set up a frontline order all along here without the port. That just shortens the line by one tile. Uh, the port garrison will be in charge of uh, well, ma making sure that you know the port doesn't fall. I'll chuck in another division. I think we can hold most of these tiles. We might get back. We might get pushed back a couple of tiles, but as long as we can hold on to the victory points, we should be good. To the north here, this is a pretty big breach. They just, uh, it's wide open. Mm, it's going to be dangerous. It's going to be very dangerous. So these divisions will have to redeploy quickly. Don't really know what I can do to stop that. Uh... Except maybe, yeah, just try and slow them down, I guess. Pull a couple of divisions out so they can reorganize. Anyway, uh, that front should be stable once the positioning is sorted out. I see units attacking here. That's not going to work out for you. I want to halt these attacks. I'll redeploy them a little bit more inland towards Hong Kong to try and retake it. Uh, when they get there, anyone surviving is going to get consolidated into a full strength division. These are all under strength. They won't be getting full strength anytime soon, simply because we don't have the artillery or the infantry equipment or pretty much anything. We have no supplies. So, yeah, they're just going to be consolidated and I'll work with what I got left. As for the rest of the army, I'm going to start assigning units from the garrison template to the actual frontline army just to strengthen it. All right, that leaves us with 24 divisions guarding the coast, which includes all the ports. No, that... That's... Oh, that port's unguarded. Um, all right, so I won't have the luxury of putting three divisions in every tile. Just ignore my rambling. It's going to take a while to get this sorted out. Long story short, I am going to guard all my ports with three divisions when I can to when I can't. I'm going to set up a front line against Hong Kong to prevent the Japanese from shipping in a bunch of units and overrunning me in the south completely as well. My 14 fours are going to get consolidated into um, divisions that are actually at fighting strength and I'll use them first to try and knock out Hong Kong. The western front will be stabilized with a full-on field marshal order. No offensives, just hold the damn line and see what we can do. Now for the eastern front, no wait, the western... Okay, so the Eastern Front is just going to be a Field Marshal order. And now the Western Front is going to be a fallback line. Because we are on positions that are indefensible. So I'm just going to make fallback line along the best terrain I can hold. Without giving up too many of our victory points. Ideally, we don't want to lose any more provinces than we already have. There's only so much of China to go around. Uh, the hard part with these 
fallback lines is they, they constantly jump off of provinces. Okay, so we will be yielding some ground. Probably this bit here. If we don't control the province anyway, the victory point's not uh, likely to be retaken anytime soon. So might as well just give up on it and focus on holding on to what we can hold on to. Provinces like Golmud, as long as we keep the victory point, we should be good. Keep these victory points. Yeah, should all be fine and assign the entire field marshal's army to those positions. I've thrown in extra units from the coastal garrisons to defend Nanning, since they were in position anyway, and the coastal tile here, since, well, they are in position anyway. And now to fall back to some defensive positions. I just hope I can hold on to these tiles and our lines don't get broken right away. We are so under strength. Ah, I see another army of 14 fours. They're not going to be of much use there. So I'm going to pull them back a little, maybe towards uh, uh, around Nanning or maybe this area somewhere I can make a good counter attack. I'll put them towards Shangde, consolidate them there and try to use them against the weakened parts of the Japanese line. They definitely need to be consolidated. All right, so 20 minutes in. I'm just going to redo the spies. Ah, that's good. Where am I in danger most though? It's it's probably the south. This is closest to our capital and the industrial heartland. So I'm going to build up a spy network here to deprive them of their planning bonus as much as I can and give ourselves a bit of a fighting chance. I think the northern front or well, eastern front. I, I don't know, man. I think this slice up here is going to hold. This slice there here is going to be in danger immediately just because this is where our capital is. I don't want to lose the capital. It has a lot of resources. Anyway, that is set up done. Oh, no, just air now. I'll focus on defending so Southern China and when I get more airplanes we can spread out more I think our airplane production should be okay we're making decent airplanes I don't think I have to worry about superior Japanese aircraft all right that's the setup done let's see just how bad things really are now this is probably going to be the hardest disaster game i've done so far i'm not sure i can win my goal for now un unless a lot changes is to simply survive until my friends and the allies deal with germany and then just hope that they are willing to swing east and deal with japan because this is one hell of a japan all right, Operation Save China, go. Oh, before we start, <laughs> Operation um, Save China. I gotta redo these front lines. I, I just saw a couple of flaws. Can't abide by them. So I'm gonna dig in behind the river wherever I can. Help, mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. Oh, man. They really... Whoever sent this in... I appreciate that you've kept up the fight for this long, but maybe um, maybe you shouldn't have. Everybody that's retreating should strategically redeploy. Oh god, that's so much movement. Alright, so my fallback line has immediately been breached. Best adjust that. Just give ground. Give ground. Give ground. It's not ideal, but yeah, these offensives aren't going to work out anyway. Just got to take what we can get. Okay, so my ports are defended. They've got a bunch of troops in Hong Kong. I, If they get low enough on Org, I'll push them out. But I I fully anticipate them to ship in hundreds of divisions there. So that's going to be tough. All along the front, we're pretty much just falling back to positions we can defend. Or at least have some chance of defending. Supply is just a horrible mess. Plus, I wish there was an easier way to make fallback lines move. Like if I could just nudge it back a province. But no, what I have to do is just redraw the entire front just to get away from one province. Just to get one province out, I have to redraw the entire front line here. And I think that's stupid. So I would very much appreciate an option to not have to do that. I think that's better. God, we are short so much equipment. Um, what I'm gonna do is start merging. Oh, can't consolidate. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is start merging, especially those 14 fours. They don't have the equipment anyway to something a little more robust, I suppose. That should slightly lessen our need for equipment. At least we're needing, at least we're meeting most of our equipment needs, or rather our supply needs um, in terms of resources. But yeah, everything has to come in via land route because the Japanese Navy is just gonna, gonna obliterate us. No chance. 
absolutely no chance of getting equipment uh, or supplies in via sea. Uh, oh, God, another tile lost. Yeah, look, please, Paradox, give us the option of manually adjusting fallback orders instead of fully having to redraw them. And what I mean by that, yeah, I, I've said what I mean by that. It doesn't matter. God, Japan's just hitting us, hitting us hard. Um... Once these infantry divisions actually get in position, get some entrenchment, and get some organization, we should be able to stop the Japanese advance, but they arrive with very low organization due to the, well, the need for strategic redeployment since they have to come from miles away, and as a result they arrive pretty much in shambles. They're, they're not in a great state when they arrive, but I do think if we can stop the initial advance, we have a chance. We have a lot of divisions. And I'm gonna start cheesing the game a little bit. Like, this division is about to lose, so I'm gonna assign him to a new army. Any new commander will do. So this is going to, sadly, cost me uh, command power. Uh, sorry, political power that I would have liked to spend somewhere else, but it is what it is. Assign the general. Mama. <laughs> Mama. All right. And just hit last stand. And now that division. Oh, never mind. It didn't work. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Like, I'm going to use last stand a couple of times. I know it's not great and it's going to cost us, but we've already yielded more of China than I'm willing to give up. So a couple of these decisions just to keep us in the fight a little longer is the sacrifice I am willing to make. Oh, yeah. They started fortifying Hong Kong. I'm not gonna push them out of there anytime soon. Meanwhile, I'll keep consolidating these 14-4s. They're, they're good on the offensive, but not when they're half-equipped, half-trained, and 100% useless. Again, I'd much rather have fewer divisions, but all of them combat-ready, than a giant amount of useless garbage. All right, time to build some roads to the north. Uh, those places are not looking good. Actually need some sort of supply train up there. Okay, I'm seeing more and more green bubbles. I know, I know, it's not exactly exciting to watch, but it is exciting to play. Mm, if I cannot hold them here. Oh God, they've pushed again. Send help. <laughs> Send help, this is horrible. Oh, these divisions are so weak. How did you ever let it come to this? You've got no guns, you've got no industry. You're so weak. How did it come to this? How did mighty China fall so low? I really don't like constantly having to readjust the line. Oh, and it's broken here as well, obviously. And it's broken there as well. Oh, China. I just wish Japan would push up to where my fallback line is so I could stop having to draw this and could just use a regular frontline order. This is this is just plain annoying. Hey, but pushed another tiles. Oh, useless. These divisions are so useless. I suppose I shouldn't be blaming them. They, they really don't have a lot of fighting strength to them at this point. But still. They're so useless. Fall back, fall back. Don't, don't, don't push. It's pointless. These divisions just melt. <laughs> just melting under the Japanese assault. <sighs> I hope we can at least hold long enough for Germany to cave. How far off is Germany? Like, Italy's gone. Germany is still going strong. Well, I, I wouldn't use the term strong, but Ger Germany's still going. Still have to just, uh... Defeat the Germans, I guess. But everybody's gotten bogged down in a mass of... God. Yeah, this is typical allied AI. Instead of pushing with the appropriate amount of divisions, they just funnel more and more and more and more and more troops into an area, then realize they have no supply and just sit there in their trenches waiting. I can now trade with the French over land. That is wonderful. Production's going okay. Air. Uh, could be better, could be worse, but I need to get some sort of air power up in this region. Really don't have that many airplanes. I, I need to build more, but uh, the industry is lacking because I, <laughs> I need to build pretty much everything. Okay, these divisions. Um, I'm gonna merge these into as many fully equipped ones as I can, and I'll probably end up joining this one with the other army of 14-4. So I'll have one full army of fully equipped 14-4s that I can use to counterattack here and there. That is going to be very handy. Also gonna change this template to be a priority for reinforcement. Okay, so we've gone to 12 fully equipped divisions. I can work with that. Send you guys over there to reinforce the Hong Kong area. And we'll try to push the Japanese out of Hong Kong that way. 
Meanwhile, keep merging divisions. Really? They broke the line again? How are they doing that? Alright, fine. Uh, halt. And we'll just stick to a regular frontline order from now. At least so divisions will reposition properly. I just hope we can hold. I'm seeing a lot more red than I would like. They're just pushing divisions that still have organizations. It's just pushing them out without any problems. Oh well, they'll, they'll run out of steam eventually, I, I guess. I hope. I can't make any more last stands. Honestly, not sure where I should counterattack. Probably this region after I manage to clean up Hong Kong, if I ever do. Alright, the 14-4 should be elite, so they get their equipment first. They also need engineer companies, uh, support artillery, and maintenance companies. Since they will be closing pockets, I have nothing. I have no equipment whatsoever. <laughs> <sighs> We're holding, though. Uh, oh, never mind. Every time I say that, we stop holding. I get pushed everywhere. Why are these divisions so trash? Don't, don't tell me. I know why these divisions are all so trash. It's just very frustrating. We've already lost so much ground. I don't think China can afford to lose much more. Yeah, Japan can push us with impunity. I, I cannot stop these divisions, and I don't know why. Well, I say that, but I, I think it's because we have virtually no equipment. <sighs> please help. Oil. I need oil. Anybody I can get oil from? Netherlands. Yes, please. Oh, great. More naval invasions. Slight detour. Clean those up first. As long as I can close these naval invasions, kill these divisions, I can take some of their equipment, I suppose. Uh, that's gonna help, and every division of Japanese troops we destroy is a division I don't have to worry about on the mainland. We're looking at equipment, at least we're taking a good amount of Japanese stuff. But we're, we're losing so much on our own though. Just attrition as well. It's horrible. This is a truly horrific war. Whoever set this up, my god, you're a madman. And more and more Japanese troops are flooding into Hong Kong. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Okay, so it looks like Japan has stopped or at least slowed its advance in the west. And we're doing well at holding off their pushes in the east. We have yielded a lot of ground, a lot more than I was willing to. But I think we can hold now if we can just get a chance to catch our breath. I can start swinging these 14 fours around, but they're already taking tons of attrition. Oh, they're taking so much attrition. And they're not really managing to hold off this massive Japanese troops here on Hong Kong. Like, how many divisions is this? This is 100 divisions. I think this is 100 divisions. Almost 100 divisions. Oh, this is 97 divisions on Hong Kong. Oh, we better hold on to that. The air war is a little more favorable now. So we got green air in southern China, yellow air in western China. As soon as we can produce more airplanes, we'll start doing so. But uh, the rest of our equipment is also in very short supply. I'm gonna see if I can get some Lend-Lease going, but I doubt that anyone here is willing to send us stuff. Oh, they actually are. France is sending me towed artillery and anti-air. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thanks, France. I mean, Belgium is sending more stuff. So yeah, I've just gone around and uh, asked pretty much everyone for some Lend-Lease, whoever would send me some. Hopefully, their stuff will arrive in 30 days. We got a massive deficit that we need to fix. I've also used some of my air experience to produce a better version of the fighter. If we cannot outproduce Japan, we will produce better airplanes than Japan. Um, high quality airplanes shoot down poor quality airplanes a lot easier. Every little bit helps. What's this? Naval invasions. Uh, good thing I got my ports guarded. I put three divisions on every port now. Um, I don't think they'll pull off these naval invasions, though they do put a lot of pressure on my lines. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Ah, oh, Shang-Chi Kai refused. Oh well, it was worth a try. Sometimes they uh, flip. I'm guessing I don't want another focus for now. Uh, is there anything good here? 60 division plans might be okay. None of these are good. This might also be okay. Extra planning. Uh, don't need more conscription. Don't need a lot of these things, actually. Stability would be nice, but I'd rather have the political power so I can go up one more rank of military... Oh, well, no. Words. Difficult. Just so I can go up to war economy or total mobilization. That's what I was saying. So yeah, I won't be taking a focus for now. I need political power. I'm a little concerned about this endless assault here. This might end up being a problem, but they're also just handing me equipment effectively at this rate. If as long as we don't break, this is bleeding the Japanese. The rest of our lines have pretty much consolidated. They've not really pushed anywhere except Fuzhou. Oh, what are they doing here? I mean, 
I'm gonna walk right in there if you're gonna let me. See if we can sneakily take some land back. Uh, I don't think I'll actually produce jet fighters. Maybe set up a small production line or whatever. Because you can't integrate jet fighters into any of these other fighters. Don't think it's worth it. I mean, they're really good, but I don't have the industrial capacity to spend on it. Oh dear, they're pushing again. Um... Thought I was safe there for a moment, and they immediately launched the massive counterattack. They just take a few tiles, but those few tiles are enough to really, really hurt me. How is Germany not dead in January of 1947? They're beset on all sides, and the Allies have done nothing. Do you really need me to sail over there and knock the last of these Germans out? Because this is a disgrace. You have to rely on the AI to do anything, you'll get nothing done. Germany should have been long gone by now, instead they're just... <sighs> it's frustrating, man. It's, it's frustrating. Right? It's it's really pissing me off here. I mean, the Soviets could steamroll their way to Berlin. Instead, no. They're not even at Warsaw yet. The Allies have taken the industrial heartland of Germany and... nothing. Like, they outnumber them on every tile. All of these divisions are under strength. They're weak. They could just launch an all-out assault and just crush whatever's left of Germany. No. Instead, they are content to just sit there on the front lines or stack ever more divisions in the Balkans where they do literally nothing. Literally nothing. Oh well. Oh well. Sure, leave me to handle Japan. Hmm? I'll, I'll, I'll handle Japan all on my own. Don't worry about it, guys. All right, 150 political power. I think I'm going total mobilization. I can always get limited conscription up to extensive conscription later. I think I've got the manpower. I, I just need more factories. Give our industry the slight boost that it needs. Okay, so that's now 94 divisions in Hong Kong. Yeah, I kind of want to launch a counterattack there, but I'm, I'm afraid that I'll not actually win. My divisions aren't doing that great either. We are never able to really recover our organization. More massive Japanese counterattacks, and I I just don't really have the troops. Every time they push, I tend to lose a tile. It's just the one tile, but we've already lost so much. Uh, I can't afford to lose more of my resources and my production capacity. We're already quite weak, but our deficit in equipment is going down. It's, it was at minus 100,000. We're now at minus 48,000, so that's better. Artillery, better as well. Like Everything is slightly improving. It's just not really improving fast enough. Oh dear, looks like they'll actually push out of Hong Kong now. How did it come to this? How did it come to this? Come on, come on, reinforce, reinforce. Get the divisions there, get the divisions there. Come oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay, we reinforced it. Just barely on time. Oh, that was close. That was way, way too close. <laughs> oh boy. That's a very generous offer, Truman. I don't have 2,308 convoys though, so no no thanks, I'll pass. Well, I've been ambitious and I've researched Cass. I'm not sure what you still be, but I figured it can't hurt to get a little Cass or try to get a little Cass. I don't really have the factories though. Once this infrastructure has been built, I should probably just uh, tone this all the way back down. It's not that important anymore. All right, we've got paratroopers. I'm going to keep upgrading the paratroopers. Uh, it's the only viable way we have to ever get our troops into Japan. Oh, that's great. Another massive naval invasion. Can I afford to split off half these units? I'm going to have to. All right, got logistics companies. Don't think I'll use them right away, though. Okay, these divisions immediately need to reposition and help defend that port. If we don't, we are doomed. Oh, barely made it in time there. <laughs> Getting a lot of close calls, a lot of close calls, but it looks like uh, the major fronts are stable. It's just around Hong Kong, and whenever they launch a, a naval invasion that I'm at real risk of losing, like the rest has come to a complete halt. This has all grinded to a halt, which is very good for us. I think I can last longer in a war of attrition than Japan can. There's just a lot more Chinese people than there are Japanese people available. Oh, that's six more divisions gone. Yep, six divisions worth of equipment captured. Good. Oh, accidentally deleted the entire order. I actually was going to use these to attack Hong Kong next. Oh, well. All right, the Alta Conference fired. That means... Oh, no, no, I thought Germany would be closer to defeat now. <sighs> they are slowly losing, though. Slowly. We just have to hold on until Germany kicks the bucket. We're actually almost caught up on most of our deficits, though. That's very, 
Very good. I did not think we'd be able to pull that out. Uh, uh oh, this is bad. Can we reinforce that? No, no, we can't. We can counterattack though, which is what we'll do. Push them right back out of that tile. All right, time to try and attack the Hong Kong pocket. This is risky. If we lose organization of these divisions, they might well counterattack and push out of Hong Kong. That's going to cost us the run, I'm afraid. But this is too good to pass up. That's 92 divisions we can overrun if this works. Oh, and it looks like it might actually work. Come on, come on, push, 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 push. Come on, come on. Oh, fall of Berlin. That's good. Oh, it looks like the Allies have finally launched a general offensive. So Germany, yeah, Germany's well on its way out the door. But I'm focusing on my grand battle. Come on, take Hong Kong. Destroy them. Just come on, come on. Oh, yes. No. Yes. No. Oh, yes. We took Hong Kong. We destroyed 92 Japanese divisions. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm gonna reassign a couple of divisions to defend Hong Kong. Don't, don't want to lose it now. You have done an amazing job, Gaoway. You have done an amazing job. Um, I think I'll launch my offensive along this coast. Most of the, uh, victory points are in this region and we'll try to roll up the line that way. Oh, that's good. That is so good. That also got us a lot of equipment. <laughs> 92 divisions destroyed just like that. Okay, on, on that high note, I'm gonna take a little breather and I'll be back in a little bit. I'm gonna take a little break here. Now with all this Lin Lease flowing in, uh, stockpiles are looking a lot better, not to mention all that stuff I take from the Japanese. So I am cautiously going to queue up a couple of divisions just to fill out my army. So one here, five here, six divisions should allow me to fill out my armies. No, no, seven divisions. Though I, d I don't expect to, uh, you know, to get those anytime soon. Franco, that may not have been the cleverest thing you've ever done. <laughs> I mean, I, I think Germany's about ready to throw in the towel. Though that is gonna be annoying. Oh man, if France falls now, it's gonna be hilarious. Oh, look at that. The Spanish hordes are pouring in. I hate that. They always do this. Like, very, very late game with Germany on its knees and is just waiting to see when they collapse. Spain joins. Without a doubt, Franco goes balls to the walls, all in, and just drags his country down. Looks like these borders are fairly lightly guarded, so I'm gonna try to take a couple of provinces here, like push up to Nanjing and see from there. Might need to redeploy air to this area, but I'm afraid to pull air off my own defensive lines. I don't have many airplanes, don't have any airplanes in stock, so... Hmm. Alright, not gonna do anything fancy here, I'm just gonna let the, um attack order run. Ideally, I'd make some encirclements, destroy some divisions, but with infantry, it's uh, it's, it's not easy. I'm just gonna push up uh, as far as I can before I get stalled. Uh, plus, the supply situation is pretty terrible here. 41% attrition! What? What? How was our supply? Oh, yeah, all the infrastructure is broken. <laughs> huh, somehow I can do War of National Liberation now. Don't know why, but I'll take it. Okay. Our first units of allied assistance have arrived. The Greeks have sent an infantry division in 1947 to help out China. All right. Oh, and I looked away from Europe for a, a tiny bit and um, Franco is coming in quite pog. He's just liberated half of France or reoccupied half of France. Depends on how you look at it. This is not looking good. This was looking a lot better 10 minutes ago. I honestly don't really want to look at this anymore. At least the Germans are going to cave, but then it's just going to be the nationalists. Ah, uh, they'll get over on soon enough. Oh, that's it. Germany capitulated. Now it's just Oh, Franco. So now it's just Franco left, but he did manage to liberate most of Vichy France again. Oh, this is just going to be an annoying back and forth, isn't it? Oh boy, that those encirclements, man. Anyway, Franco now has a lot of allied divisions bearing down on him. This should be over soon, and I finally can look forward to some allied help in my theater. Ah, uh, Japan's still trying naval invasions. Uh, they shouldn't. They shouldn't uh, get through here. Should I, I think my garrisons can clean them up once they land and run out of supplies. My ports should be fairly secure. I am a little concerned that we're not really pushing as well as I'd like in this region and 14 force take a lot of damage. So I don't want to waste my strength here. Ooh, this is actually a lot of Japanese divisions suddenly landing here. May need to alter the plan. Yeah, this is quite a few divisions they're throwing away. I need to clean that up quickly before it becomes a problem. Ah, overruns. So many Japanese divisions destroyed once again. Oh, Japan. 
Thanks for the equipment. Now we've actually almost fixed our equipment deficit, which is nice. Knowingly, the terrain really isn't to our advantage. Very mountainous and supply is pretty poor, so I don't think pushing along the coast is going to work. Even if the battle plan says it might, uh, I'm just going to run into a wall. So it might be easier to carve out our fellow China, or rather our competitor China. See if I can't capitulate this yellow blob here. The terrain, again, not exactly optimal. Maybe if I break their cipher, that could help. I just want to get this over with. No. God, this is why I hate infantry. You're just doing nothing. Nothing. Infantry is so useless on the offensive, you might as well not bother. It's virtually impossible to break the entrenchment of these divisions, and I cannot make naval invasions because I don't have anything to contest the Japanese Navy with. I'm stuck with the front lines as they are because I cannot push. Very fun. This is peak peak gameplay right here. Mm, I'm having so much fun right now. Yep, my units run out of organization, which I'm guessing is due to air power or something. And despite it looking like I'm winning, no, my org just drains away. Nothing happens. We don't take a single tile. Got no more real upgrades to make for my infantry. So this is it. We're stuck. We're pretty much stuck. There has to be a way I can actually counterattack. This really cannot be it. Surely we cannot be just stuck here forever. Oh great, low supply? Of course there's low supply here. Why would there be supply in the region? Yep, nothing but red bubble. Oh, oh, we took Xi'an. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, after playing all those games with tanks, these infantry offensives are not really impressing me <laughs> at all. Yeah, 12 Japanese divisions destroyed. At least we're doing good with cleaning up these naval invasions. They cannot replace these divisions. At least I don't think they can. They must be overextended as fuck, man. And Spain is almost out, so our allies will be able to help us soon. We're out of the hot water. We just need to get the Japanese off the mainland. Oh, peace deal. Peace deal's happening. Oh, there we go. Whew. I uh, didn't really get to do a lot there. What can I do here? Nothing really. I, I could meme it up and satellite some stuff, but I, I don't think I want to get involved there. That's not my war. So let's just click done. Let's see what the world has become. I am pretty sure I'm gonna hate it. Yeah, we got East Germany. We got a German Reich still. There are puppets? No, they're in the Axis. They're still at war with Poland, Turkey and Bulgaria. We've got a West Germany. Um, Soviet Union took a slice of Southern France. The United States took a slice of Southern France. Ossetania is a thing. Spain is pain. Okay. Um, yeah, the world looks pretty much uh, the way you'd expect it to look. Czechoslovakia is having a very bad day. The Czech People Republic got carved up pretty well. Oh boy. Yeah, let's pan away from that and never look back. I just hope that our dear friends, the Allies, will finally start sending over some troops to help me. China's been on its own for what, 10 years now? Oh, more lag. Is the game gonna crash? I don't know. Oh, oh, what the hell? East Germany has joined the common... Oh, yeah, that was just probably the event to uh, absorb the Germans. All right, fine. Hey, Austria actually came out of this uh, pretty well. <laughs> they got South Tyrol back. What is this? They want our help with- what? What? I'm gonna click decline there. What the hell is going on? Who are you fighting? You're still fight- what? How is German- okay, this makes no sense. Apparently there is still a war on with Germany, though they- they have capitulated. Bulgaria has capitulated. No, wait. Legionary Bulgaria is down here. They have not- Okay, this- this is very, very broken, uh, but they should overrun this. Let's, again, not look back. It's not what I want to see. Let's focus on the task at hand. Ah, uh, looks like we've uh, found the soft underbelly of the Chinese or Japanese forces on the mainland. Let's carve them up as best we can. This game has gone on for far too long. 1947. Whew, that's five years past when I usually quit playing. Let's just get this over with. Whew, I can declare war on Tibet. Where did they join? Please tell me they joined. Yeah, they joined. Yeah, they joined Japan's faction. That's fine. That's fine, I might be able to get my hands on Tibet after. Now, we're doing a good job carving up what's left of China here. Oh, uh, game's getting very laggy though. Now it does look like the back of the enemy is broken at this point. I am going to go all in, try and cut off this section of their front, destroy it, and we're gonna push the Japanese out. If the American, oh, the Americans are arriving. I was gonna say, if the Allies won't help us, we'll do it ourselves. 
Honestly, at this point, what have the Allies ever done for us? We're gonna train up paratroopers to take the fight to Japan. I've just made a nice thick 20 with paratrooper division. They will not be used for attacking. I'll use these to take ports if I can, and then set up defensive perimeters until I can ship my offensive units, my 14 fours, across, assuming they ever make it that far. Now, it does look like Allied navies are arriving in the region. That should help deal with Japan's naval superiority. Yeah, we've cut Japan off from the mainland. Or rather, we have cut the Japanese front in half. Good. Now we'll just try and roll our way down. Oh, uh, this is a lot of divisions we're destroying. I like that. I'm also kind of surprised how well we're doing now, considering where we started. China really bounced back from this one. All right, clean this pocket up. All out offensive shouldn't be too risky. That's a nice slice of China we've carved our way back. We've actually achieved air superiority mostly. For the most part, we are in control of the skies. This is probably a result of all those allied planes flooding here now that the war in Europe is over, but uh, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. We are finally gonna end this run it's already 1948 come on keep pushing keep going i'm a little disappointed by the lack of help my allies are giving me they're just sitting on the ports you know yeah you, you could at least do something america i don't naval invade maybe do anything oh god soviet union has declared war on iraq and afghanistan they're doing their thing again. Just hope we don't end up at war with the Soviets. Ah, looks like the US is liberating some land. Okay. If they take that flank, I can uh, take care of this side of things. That should be good. I just want this to be over by now. Oh, glorious overruns. Glorious overruns everywhere. It feels good to come back, you know? After all that hardship that the Chinese people had to endure, striking back at the invaders like this is just... It's a dream. And now we continue pushing. We will drive them out. All right, Li Zongren, it is time for a massive assault. Oh, the Soviet Union's in as well. All right, this is it. Big attack. This has gone on for long enough. It's time we took our slice of the pie. We want our pound of flesh. Oh, as far as offensives go, this one's costly. I, I just want this to be over, man. It's taken far too long. It's June of 1948. Who even plays for this long? Oh, Japan should almost be dealt with. All right, these 20 divisions, paratroopers. Uh, do I have good generals to assign them to? Gao, who gets my paratroopers? You get a different general. Doesn't really matter who. I'm gonna set up paratrooper orders. I'll try and work with this. Where's my transports? All right, uh, I can't paradrop Japan from here, so I'm gonna paradrop the southern tip of, what is this, Korea? Try and take Pusan quickly and establish some sort of foothold here with my paratroopers, build up an airport here, and then try and invade Japan. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna keep pushing wherever I can without really trying to waste too much of my um, strength. Though, uh, Japan, Japan, you're so weak. I am very tempted to just... Uh, Set this line to go, really. All right, paratroops are underway. Seems to have worked out. Yeah, they're all dropping. Now push up from Korea to some sort of defensible position. And we'll try and take the Japanese from both sides. We do have to take Pusan, though, quickly. The wrath of China and the Allies has pretty much decimated Japan's holdings. They are crumbling on all fronts. Our daring um, airborne assault has managed to take Korea. Well, most of Korea. And I think... Um... As soon as I clean up Manchuria, I will head on and invade Japan itself and end this once and for all. It's already, it's already been too long. Oh god, I'm out of equipment. I'm pretty much out of everything. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask my friends and allies for some stuff. Baby, the Soviets wanna, st uh, wanna help me out here? No, I don't think they are. No, they're, they're not really willing. Annoyingly, Soviet involvement has uh, cost us the loss of much of Manchuria. Hope we can rectify that in the peace deal. I should have a lot of contribution here, though. Yeah, 70%. I'm not fussed about that. All right, just clean up whatever is left on the mainland. I think this is the remainder of the Japanese army. Then I'll make my uh, para drops, and that should be it. That should be this run ended. A final victory for the glorious China of Li Zongren. Oh, those overruns. Those overruns are so juicy. Look at those numbers. Pew, 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 pew. Just plopping, 
plopping away. All right, mainland China is secure. There's some fighting going on here in the south, but I, I don't want to push my units. Um, we've already lost way too much equipment in that fighting, so that's none of my concern at this point. I'm tempted to actually just start getting rid of several of these divisions just so I can equip my final uh, offensive units. Uh, might actually not be a terrible idea. I'll just get rid of the weakest ones. They've done their duty. It's over. That did help our equipment deficit. My 14 fours will rush to the Pusan port. My paratroopers are in division. Uh, sorry, in position. Um, now it's going to be a matter of claiming air superiority over Japan itself, which might prove difficult. Going to need to upgrade that airbase. I mean, I'm also gonna hit more ground crews. We want Japan. Yeah, claiming air superiority over the home islands might prove difficult. Then again, getting naval supremacy is gonna be impossible as well. Uh, looks like my paratroopers are finally moving. I hope this works. I really do. Something's wrong with the paratroopers. Never mind, they're not moving anymore. It's getting buggy as hell. But my paratroopers have arrived. They have paradropped with losses, but that's better than nothing. All right, time to go, go, go. So my 14 fours have landed. My paratroopers will try and take care of the north. Paratroopers will push south, and that's going to be it. That is going to be the end of this campaign. China stands triumphant after all. This feels good. All right, there goes Siam. Looking good. Okay, I'm gonna try a cheeky power drop behind these Japanese lines, try and come at them from both sides, and just end this. This has gone on for far too long. Oh, there goes Tibet. Free guns, great. Come on, just give me the... Oh, come on, the US is gonna sweep in there and take the glory? No, 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 no. This is my victory, US. This is my victory. China did this. Huangxi, China under Li Zongren. We have achieved the ultimate victory, not you. You stand here in the shadow of my achievement, not yours. I'm actually amazed at how many troops China, uh, Japan still has left after, what, 10, 12 years of fighting? All right, 1949, we just need to take this last bit of Japan and we're done, but they're so entrenched, the terrain is horrible. I'm not getting anywhere right now. I can't naval invade, I can't para drop, I can't grind my way through because of the mountains, so this is proving difficult. This is proving to be very difficult and annoying. But we've taken almost all of Japan except for the area around Tokyo. 99% towards capitulation. Uh, I could just para drop uh, Okinawa and that would be it. I think that's probably my best bet. I don't want to deal with the mess. Yeah, I'm gonna try paradropping Okinawa. Okay, for some reason, oh, these units don't know how to get to Okinawa. <sighs> They're trying to um, go via a very weird detour, so I'm gonna manually move them there, see if that helps. Yeah, that helps. All right, just paradrop Okinawa and be done with it. I'm not gonna break this knot of Japanese resistance. There's just too many troops here, unless I somehow... Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and with that it would appear we are done. I'm gonna take whatever I can in the peace deal I should be in charge for most of this stuff and With that apparently the game is done. Huangxi click Continue continue game no further score. All right. We have actually completed a campaign. We finished the game We have turned this from well what looked like an absolute defeat into a major victory Huangxi China is once again a whole, except for this bit that we're not gonna pay attention to. Soviets apparently decided they were entitled to a slice of Manchuria. We're, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Not only did we push Japan off the mainland, but we invaded them in turn. We held out against all odds and came back swinging. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content. If you didn't like it, that's fine. Just hit that dislike button and tell me what I did wrong in the comments. I'm always looking to learn. And if you want to support the channel and support what I do, consider joining the YouTube membership. The button down there says join. It will take you to the YouTube membership page. It has all the information you need. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. This has been me, Bittersteel. Goodbye.